Mayor Johnny Apaka says a company contracted by the territorial government was transferring gasoline from one tank to another when one overfilled, causing this costly mistake. Arctic Cooperatives Limited confirms it was the local co-op staff involved in that incident. But beyond knowing there was a spill, Sunny Kilowak's mayor says he was largely left in the dark. We weren't getting any information for this community. And they weren't telling us anything we had to do what we had to do just to be safe. So he took the precautionary step of telling the community's 1,000 residents to evacuate. If that fuel was to ignite, then they, we would have no control over it. But now he says most of the spill has been recovered because the area was protected with a lined berm. The only information from the government of Nunavut issued yesterday came six hours after reports of evacuations and after people were told they could return. All the while, people were left trying to figure out for themselves what was actually happening, including Nukaya Sala. She did a live stream during yesterday's evacuation. We were thinking, why is no one coming here to help us? And why is Nunavik the first responders? And it later made sense. Nunavik was more prepared and had boats and communications. So we need that here in Sanikiluak in Nunavut too. Yesterday, Nunavut's Petroleum Products Division says it did some tests. No fumes were detected beyond the containment area. They say there's no immediate risk to residents now and they're advised to stay away. This is the fifth contaminant spill in Nunavut in just over a week. Samuel Watt, CBC News, Yikaluit.